This video is for educational purposes only. Hey, how's it going guys? Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a keylogger on your Windows system that's going to record all the keystrokes that the user types in and then saves it to a file that you will be able to investigate later. So, let's get started. Alright, first we're going to go and we're going to type in stupid key logger um, and that is the name of the github project that we are going to download um, and use so we can read a little bit about it right here so um, it hides itself in a subjects PC and silently records all keystrokes and mouse operation it is launched automatically with PC start and then stores data in an AC C A S C I I code with record date now all you have to do is collect the record and decode it. So, so this is how to use it right here, which will we go we will, we will go through right now. And all right guys, once we got our USB drive plugged in, we're going to have to go to Windows security and then we're going to have to go to virus and threat protection, manage settings and turn off our real-time protection if we don't turn this off we won't be able to successfully download this file so we're gonna click here we're gonna save it our browser is gonna say hey don't download this because it's dangerous we're gonna say we want the dangerous file anyways and then we're gonna say keep anyways and okay it went into the folder in my USB drive that I wanted to that I named Keylogger and there it is so now we have this file saved so we're gonna move on to step two alright so let's unzip this alright so it says Windows.exe is the compiled and renamed form keylogger.ccp. So Windows Shell.inc is is a link file of Windows Shadow.exe. So now insert your pen drive into a computer. Run the infect.bat file. So that will be this one. Um, and this will install the Windows Shadow.exe. So it'll look like this. And then <coughs> the Windows Shell link, which looks like this, in that PC. So then when you wait some days and return to that PC, um, you can now run the decoder. So the collect data. And you will get a log, data.log, of all of the keystrokes and words and passwords and data that they put into that PC. All right, so if you wanted to use this, what you would do is you would click infect. It would open up this and you would click run. Then that would um, put a little icon on your computer like this. And what that is, is a link to this. And what this does is actually the program that records all of your keystrokes so when we come back to this computer in a couple of days and want to record and get the keystrokes back what we'll do is we'll plug a USB drive back in and we'll click on this and we'll run this and then just like the app says it'll run the decoder and it will um, get another file named data.log and then when we want to um, remove the keylogger from the PC then we do the cure.bat 
and we want run this all right so if we want to see this program work we can click on it click more, more info and do run anyways and then it will put this window shell somewhere on my computer and then if I come back to record decoder we'll do run anyways and then it will give us a sheet right here with some data in it and that's what I typed so we won't save that and then if we type some more stuff and then we run the decoder again it'll save us a new file and show us what uh, we typed alright and then if we want to take this off of the system we'll just take click on cure and that will remove it so that's it for this video just want to show you quickly how easy it is for a keylogger to quickly be installed on your system so this could happen in seconds when you walk away to go to the bathroom or talk to somebody um, and you leave your computer open and vulnerable um, that would be more than enough time for a bad actor to come in and throw one of these key loggers on your system so this is a video for educational purposes only don't put key loggers on any systems that you don't own or have permission to because these are illegal to put on systems and can get you in a lot of trouble so again only do this to systems that you own and have permission to do so that's it for this video thanks for watching